triggers and order of execution. 1. Loads the original record from the database or initializes the record for an upsert statement. 2. Loads the new record field values from the request and overwrites the old values. Salesforce performs different validation checks depending on the type of request. 1. For requests from a standard UI edit page, Salesforce runs these system validation checks on the record. Compliance with layout specific rules required values at the layout level and field definition level valid field formats maximum field length Additionally, if the request is from a user object on a standard UI edit page, Salesforce runs custom validation rules. For requests from multi-line item creation such as quote line items and opportunity line items, Salesforce runs custom validation rules. For requests from other sources such as an Apex application or a SOAP API call, Salesforce validates only the foreign keys. Before executing a trigger, Salesforce verifies that any custom foreign keys don't refer to the object itself. Three, executes record triggered flows that are configured to run before the record is saved. Four, executes all before triggers. Five, runs most system validation steps again, such as verifying that all required fields have a non-null value, and runs any custom validation rules. The only system validation that Salesforce doesn't run a second time, when the request comes from a standard UI edit page, is the enforcement of layout-specific rules. Six, executes duplicate rules. If the duplicate rule identifies the record as a duplicate and uses the block action, the record isn't saved and no further steps, such as after triggers and workflow rules, are taken. 7. Saves the record to the database, but doesn't commit yet. 8. Executes all after triggers. 9. Executes assignment rules. 10. Executes auto-response rules. 11. Executes workflow rules. If there are workflow field updates, A. Updates the record again. B. Runs system validations again. Custom validation rules, flows, duplicate rules, processes, and escalation rules aren't run again. C. Executes before update triggers and after update triggers, regardless of the record operation, insert or update, one more time, and only one more time. 12. Executes escalation rules. 13. Executes these Salesforce flow automations, but not in a guaranteed order. Processes flows launched by processes flows launched by workflow rules, flow trigger workflow actions pilot, when a process or flow executes a DML operation, the affected record goes through the save procedure. 14. Executes record triggered flows that are configured to run after the record is saved. 15. Executes entitlement rules. 16. If the record contains a roll-up summary field or is part of a cross-object workflow, performs calculations and updates the roll-up summary field in the parent record. Parent record goes through save procedure. 17. If the parent record is updated, and a grandparent record contains a roll-up summary field or is part of a cross-object workflow, Performs calculations and updates the roll-up summary field in the grandparent record. Grandparent record goes through save procedure. 18. Executes criteria-based sharing evaluation. 19. Commits all DML operations to the database. 20. After the changes are committed to the database, executes post-commit logic are executed. Examples of post-commit logic in no particular order, include sending email, enqueued asynchronous Apex jobs, including queuable jobs and future methods, asynchronous paths and record triggered flows. Additional considerations If a workflow rule field update is triggered by a record update, trigger.old doesn't hold the newly updated field by the workflow after the update. Instead, 
Trigger.hold holds the object before the initial record update was made. For example, an existing record has a number field with an initial value of 1. A user updates this field to 10, and a workflow rule field update fires and increments it to 11. In the update trigger that fires after the workflow field update, the field value of the object obtained from trigger.old is the original value of 1, and not 10. See trigger.old values before and after update triggers. If a DML call is made with partial success allowed, triggers are fired during the first attempt and are fired again during subsequent attempts. Because these trigger invocations are part of the same transaction, static class variables that are accessed by the trigger aren't reset. See bulk DML exception handling. If more than one trigger is defined on an object for the same event, the order of trigger execution isn't guaranteed. For example, if you have two before insert triggers for case and a new case record is inserted, the firing order of these two triggers isn't guaranteed. To learn about the order of execution when you insert a non-private contact in your org that associates a contact to multiple accounts, see Account, Contact, Relation. To learn about the order of execution when you're using before triggers to set stage and forecast category, see Opportunity. In API version 53.0 and earlier, after save record triggered flows run after entitlements are executed. For more information please visit this site www.salesforce.com.